David here with Fig Boot on Pens, back again with another fountain pen review. Today I have for you a pen from a small company which has come on strong in the small manufacturer pen space, and that would be Gravitas. A while back, if you recall, I reviewed their very popular Skittles model, which is this one here. It's a really fun pen. And what I have for you today is what Gravitas considers to be their entry-level pen. And creatively enough, it is called the Entry. What I'm going to do today is go over the parts and features of the Gravitas Entry. I'm going to talk about what I care for and what I don't care for about it. I'll show some measurements, size comparisons, and provide a writing sample. Thanks go out to Gravitas for providing this pen for review. Gravitas is a company based out of Dublin, Ireland, and was founded by a gentleman by the name of Ben Walsh. Ben has a background in furniture design and cabinet making. Uh, he started the business by making pens out of concrete, believe it or not. Uh, the pen business was growing with those initial designs, but Ben wanted to kind of branch out and create pens from higher-end materials which would last a lifetime which led him to create several different models that you can check out on his site. I'll put a link to it in the notes below. Now, be aware he's introducing a new model called the Sentry, not to be confused with the Entry. So just be aware of the difference in name if you're checking out the site. I believe the Sentry is slightly larger than the Entry and is a bit more expensive as well. Ben is also a good follow on Instagram. He is constantly experimenting with new designs and materials and posts a lot of his experiments, which are interesting to check out. The pen arrives in this custom sleeve. It is laser engraved with the Gravitas name and logo. Um, also on it is something which might just look like a bunch of lines and hash marks, but it's actually an ancient Celtic language called Om or Ogum, uh, depending on whose pronunciation you follow. Uh, you actually read it from bottom to the top, and what this translates to is, appropriately enough, the company name Gravitas Pens. And inside we have the Gravitas Entry. Uh, the Entry has a rather thin profile and is made from aluminum. Uh, the surface is bead blasted, leaving it smooth to the touch before it's anodized. It's available in nine different colors. There is blue, black, burgundy red, dark green, dark olive gray, gunmetal gray, purple, teal, and the aforementioned Skittles. Uh, let's take a look at the top of the cap. Uh, it comes to a rather sharp point. It almost feels like one of those tactical self-defense pens. It could stand to be just a hair less sharp. The cap tapers up and then back down slightly. Uh, this is a clipless design and there is no roll stop. At the end of the cap is the Gravitas logo. Uh, I mentioned this in the Skittles review, but this logo is an element of the Walsh family coat of arms. One of the elements on the crest is called a Fion, or a broad arrow. It symbolizes the family's readiness for battle. There is a small step down to the barrel, which then tapers down at an even angle. It really narrows down quite a bit to a thin end. And then on the very end, like the top of the cap, it comes to a rather sharp rounded point. The cap twists off in two and a quarter rotations, and underneath we have a stainless steel number six Yovo nib. Uh, it's nice that this pen utilizes a number six nib. It's available in extra fine, fine, medium, broad, and 1.1 and 1.5 stubs. And here's a look at the plastic feed. The section is grooved and it begins with an extended flare, then angles up slightly until you reach the metal cap threads, which are on the barrel. I really like the section of the entry for several reasons. First of all, it's a nice size and thickness. Overall, the entry feels like a rather thin pin, but the section doesn't feel overly thin. Uh, secondly, the section is made from stainless steel. It's PVD coated and is actually heavier than the rest of the pen. In fact, the nib, section, and converter weigh more than the cap and barrel combined. The end result is that this really forward weights the pen, which really works well in my opinion. The additional heft is nice. And finally, with the grooves on this section, it really provides you with an excellent grip. Uh, your grip is really locked on there. And even though it's a metal section, your grip isn't going anywhere. 
Uh, and even though I would describe the cap threads as mildly sharp, uh, you really don't notice them that much. Uh, you really don't notice the difference between the grooved section and the threads if your grip should rest on them at all. So yeah, I feel that this section is a really highlight of this pen. Uh, this is a cartridge converter pen. It accepts standard international cartridges and a converter is provided. Um, now this pen does post. Uh, it does post very deeply. Um, and you have to make sure you get it on there, maybe a little extra push to stay on there. Um, if you just place the cap on the barrel too lightly, it might not stay on. But with posting it so deeply, I haven't felt that this is much of an issue. The Gravitas entry is available exclusively on the Gravitas website. I'll put a link to it in the notes below. It retails for 55 euros or about $64, depending on the exchange rate. And the Skittles version of this pen is an additional five euros. Um, I feel that overall, it's a reasonable price for what you receive with this pen. Now, I will say that the other Skittles model I reviewed, which is the larger model than this one, um, and a different design, that pen had a, a bit more of a wow factor. Uh, it's very eye-catching. Um, I'd categorize the entry as being very well made and very well designed, and it performs very nicely. But for me, it doesn't necessarily have as much of that wow factor. For the price, I feel it's very comparable to the other offerings in the range, though, and I feel it's worth checking out. Uh, thanks again. Go out to Gravitas for providing this pen for review. Uh, now it is time for some measurements, size comparisons, and a writing sample. Here we go with some size comparisons for the Gravitas entry. Um, first of all, here it is in comparison to the Gravitas Skittles, which is the larger model. Uh, and then here's another one of the standard models, and this one was in aluminum and is significantly lighter than the, uh, than the Skittles pen. Uh, and then here's another metal pen, which is the Keras Pen Company Ink, and this one is in copper. In regard to some other metal pens, here it is with a Visconti Opera Metal Speedboat. Uh, here it is with a Schoen Design Pocket 6. And finally, here it is with a Matthew Martin. This is called the OG Chonk, uh, which I really enjoy. And as a pen, I really enjoy. I really love the section of this pen. Um, unfortunately, Matthew mentioned, uh, re announced recently that he was going to be stepping away from making fountain pens for a little while to focus on some of his other artwork and other projects. Um, hopefully he gets back to making pens in the near future because I've really enjoyed his work. In regard to uncapped comparisons, um, this is what it looks like with the Visconti Opera Metal Speedboat. Uh, here it is with the Skittles from Gravitas. And then here it is with the Pocket 6 when it's posted, since that's the way you're going to be using that particular pen. So here we go with the writing sample for the Gravitas entry. You know what, I didn't even mention it, but this one is the dark olive green. Um, it's a really nice olive color, and uh, I think that the material kind of shows nicely in the light. It has some nice vibrance to it. But let's take a look at the writing sample. This is the Gravitas entry. This is a fine stainless steel nib, and the ink that I'm using here for this olive pen, appropriately enough, is Pelican Edelstein Olivine. This is what the ink looks like. It's a nice dark olive green, just like this pen. Um, this is what it looks like in comparison to the Monteverdi Olivine, which is a little bit lighter. And here is the Papier Plume Irish Channel Green. This is what the Pelican bottle looks like. Um, you know what, I like the looks of this bottle. I just wish it was a little deeper. It is a little bit on the shallow side. And here we go with the rest of the writing sample.
while fine and extra fine nibs aren't necessarily my favorite, um, I do find this one to be very nice. Um, it does have a fair amount of feedback. You're not going to get a lot of line variation out of here. Um, it has feedback without being sharp, which I like, because that's what I kind of don't like about some extra fines and fines is when they get a little bit too sharp. Uh, but this one is uh, sharp, but yet not necessarily, or it's still necessarily smooth as well, uh, with, like I said, a little bit of feedback. Uh, in regard to the ink flow, it's decent. In regard to the reverse writing, I wouldn't say that reverse writing is necessarily the best for this particular pen. But in regard to some fast writing, there's no issue with the feed keeping up at all. So there we have the Gravitas entry. Um, I think that this is a nice entry level pen for the Gravitas brand. It's reasonably priced uh, and that, like I mentioned earlier, that Gravitas is coming out with all sorts of new things and new creations on a regular basis. And I think this one is worthwhile as well. So until next time, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later.